Model context protocol or MCP is changing how we interact with AI. It's like giving your AI models superpowers to interact with your computer, access live data and create amazing tools. In this video, I'll show you exactly where to find MCP tools and how to set them up. Welcome back to the channel and today we're diving into something that's revolutionizing AI development. Model context protocol or just MCP. Whether you're a developer looking to build AI powered apps faster or just someone curious about cutting edge of AI, this video is for you. I'll explain you what MCP is in simple terms, show you where to find best MCP tools and how to set them up. Let's get started. So what exactly is MCP? Simply put, Model Context Protocol is an open source standard that lets AI models like Claude interact with tools outside of their normal environment. Think of it like this. Normally, AI model can only sync using information they were trained on and what you tell them in the conversation. But with MCP, they can use external tools to search the web for current information, access your files and documents, run code to analyze data, control applications on your computer and much more. According to the documentation at modelcontextprotocol.io, MCP creates a bridge between language models and external tools through standardized context and actions. This allows AI to request information and perform actions through external services. Here's a simple example. Without MCP, if you ask Cloud to analyze today's stock market data, it can't do that because it doesn't have access to current information. But with MCP, Cloud can use a web search tool to get real-time stock data, process it and give you insights. And MCP is not just for Cloud. It's an open standard that any AI model or any AI-powered IDE like Cursor can implement. Now, let's talk about where you can find best MCP tools before we'll dive into installation. The first place to check out is the official MCP GitHub repository. Here you'll find various MCP servers, including web search capabilities, file system access, and more foundational servers. Another amazing resource is awesome MCP servers collection. This repository organizes MCP tools into categories like productivity, art and culture, gaming, finance, and many more. Also, you can check out quite popular smizri.ai for even more MCP tools, but you should not expect that each tool you'll try will work. There. Now that you know where to find MCP tools, let's get practical and set them up with Cloud Desktop. First of all, obviously, you have to install Cloud Desktop. Next step is to install Node.js, which is used quite often in MCP tools, so just download the LTS version and follow the installation wizard. After you've installed everything, you can finally select your preferred uh, MCP tool. I'll show a simple example with file system, but don't worry, almost each tool has documentation. For example, if you try to find Discord, uh, this it will also have some documentation set up of setup process so you're just following it and uh, you'll have your mcp tool so what about file system we're going to scroll down a bit and find this thing which we're going to copy then go to cloud desktop inside cloud desktop you have to go to settings and then uh, developer edit config here you'll find config called cloud desktop config.json which you have to open and paste here what you've copied from file system mcp important stuff to notice is that this command won't work if you're on windows in most cases so you have to change it with cmd then save this part because you'll need it later and here write slash c and then that command you've saved. Here uh, we can find that we have to specify what directory we have to, we want to allow access to. I don't want this and this is also not correct so I'm going to change it. And now it should work. But as you can see we don't see any MCP tools here for now but after we'll restart Cloud Desktop everything should work. And after a few seconds of loading, you can see that Hammer 
which uh, means that some MC pedals are connected and you can find what MC pedals are connected uh, in this menu. And now we can try to ask Cloud to do something with our file system. Uh, as you can see currently I don't have anything on my desktop, but if I lost Cloud, create a file uh, MCP test txt on my desktop uh, it will ask you for access and after everything you can find that it have created this file even fill it with content as i've mentioned mcp isn't limited to just cloud desktop you can use the same tools with other AI powered environments like Cursor or Windsurf. So check them out if you're interested. So there you have it. Now you know where to find MCP tools and how to set them up. If you found this video valuable, please don't forget to like it and subscribe for more AI content. And also drop a comment if you have any questions. See you in the next one.